The new Risk IQ passive total for Splunk app is a complete overhaul of our existing version. Notable changes include a new Splunk add-on to perform bulk enrichment and manage passive total commands, a refresh UI for the passive total application, and more data sets for an analyst to use during their investigation. Let's start with the passive total add-on. Once installed, user, users gain access to a series of new commands for ingesting passive total data. This is very similar to the old version, only it has more content. Additionally, users can now upload a CSV file of indicators for bulk enrichment. This is where you would upload that file, and then once you're done, it turns into an input. This input and functionality allows for the selection of how often to enrich, where to save the data in a particular index, and which data sets to use. Once enabled, this will run on a reoccurring basis based on the interval that you've defined, and the data will save into the index available. If I run a search here, I can see some of that data available to us. So we can see that we actually respect the Splunk fields and extract this information out. And what's helpful in having this information available to us is that we can use this content to enrich our existing logs or correlate other activity. The Splunk add-on serves as a foundation for the RiskIQ app. So switching over to the passive total application, you'll notice a similar look and feel to the actual passive total platform. Users have the option to conduct a live investigation or a local investigation using the index data that we had in the bulk enrichment step. A live investigation functions as you would expect. You search for an indicator and you get back results. Each tab will populate with content and allows for pivoting in order to surface related activity. Each one of these pivots remain within the Splunk platform. And additionally, you can filter up top on the individual data sets. In addition to the, to the RiskIQ Internet Intelligence data, a search will also be ran against local Splunk indexes in order to surface internal telemetry. This feature saves analysts time by combining the internal and external data within one interface. Users have the ability to add more indexes to the search and also extend the time frame. For customers leveraging the bulk enrichment feature, they can query this information the same way as the live investigation, but perform it locally. This gives users the ability to flexibility, the users flexibility to explore the data that they have available without necessarily using queries against their quota. And just the same as in the previous versions, you can still, still pivot out to the passive total interface and access your and your team's search history. These upgrades to the Splunk app bring a more complete passive total experience directly in the Splunk, saving the analyst time, giving them more awareness about potential threats found within their logs, and automating common security actions. For more information, including support documents and technical details, you can find documentation on the Splunk base page, or you can visit the Risk IQ integration page, clicking on the individual application that you would like to access in order to see the solution brief and the existing support material.